For centuries, owls have been known as mysterious creatures of the night. In many cultures, owls symbolize wisdom and magic, which only makes sense for one of the most intelligent bird species on the planet. From 4 inches to almost 3 feet tall, owls come in different shapes and sizes. Although they're mostly harmless to humans, owls still have their share of creepy traits. Here are 30 owl facts that you'd have to watch out for. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. Most of an owl's legs are hidden. Although owls look stocky at first glance, they actually have incredibly long legs hidden by their plump bodies. The full length of an owl's legs can't actually be seen, unless its body is lifted higher or when its legs drop down during flight. Number 2. Owls are one of the oldest types of birds. Owls are considered to be the earliest bird species due to sharing similar traits with prehistoric birds. These ancient birds include the Baroornis and the Ogigoptings that lived over 60 million years ago. This makes owls one of the most ancient types of birds along with chickens, pheasants, and turkeys. Number 3. The owl's hoot has several uses. Owls hoot as primary communication with other owls. However, research has shown that owls also do this to claim their territory and warn others of its presence. This way, the hoot prevents intruders from entering their territory. Number 4. Owls have 14 vertebrates in their neck. While humans and birds have 7 vertebrates in their neck, owls have double the amount. The extra vertebrates in their neck give owls a wider range of motion, with the ability to rotate their heads 270 degrees. Number 5. An owl's eye color indicates its hunting preferences. An owl's eye color is an evolutionary trait that allows them to blend in with their surroundings when hunting. That said, owls with a dark brown eye color prefer to hunt at night. Meanwhile, owls with orange eyes actively hunt during twilight. Owls with yellow eyes are diurnal, which means they hunt during the day. Number 6. Owls have the best night vision compared to any other animal on Earth. During the night, owls have an excellent range of vision similar to that of an eagle. Their eyes also have a reflective surface behind their retinas called the tapetum lucidum. Number 7. Throughout the films, seven different owls played Harry Potter's owl Hedwig. The main owl that took on the role was a trained owl named Gizmo. Much like any seasoned actor, Gizmo had different owl doubles. Among these owl extras were Casper, Oops, Swoops, uh-oh, Elmo, and Bandit. Number 8. The earliest depiction of owls dates back to 30,000 years ago. The earliest example of owls featured in art is the image of a long-eared owl etched onto the Chauvet Cave in France. The piece was found in the second section of the cave, separate from the first chamber section. Number 9. The eyes of an owl take up most of the space in its head. Aside from the distinct hoot, an owl's most notable characteristic is its large eyes. As expected, an owl's eyes take up most of the space in their skulls. Female owls typically have larger and heavier eyes compared to the males of their species. For one, the eyes of a great horned owl weigh around 25.7 grams together, or as heavy as a golf ball. Number 10. Not all species of owls can hoot. Unlike regular owls, barn owls do not hoot. Instead, these owls are known to communicate with each other through screams. Barn owls also make hissing noises at intruders and predators who attempt to disturb its nest. These sounds can be anywhere between 2 to 4 seconds long. Number 11. Owls are commonly associated with witchcraft in parts of South Africa. In South Africa, owls commonly symbolize death and witchcraft due to their nocturnal habits. Many ancient beliefs also assign owls as the pets and servants of witches and sorcerers. In traditional medicine, body parts from owls are often used as a common ingredient. Number 12. The largest recorded owl is now extinct. First discovered by Oscar Paulino Arredondo de la Mata, the remains of the Ornamagalonyx were found in Cuba in 1954, spanning 1.1 meters. This owl is the largest recorded owl in history. Number 13. Owls come in two main categories. All owl species belong to two groups, 
the Titanidae and Strigidae. Regular owls fall under the Strigidae group, while barn owls classify under the Titanidae group. Generally, barn owls have heart-shaped faces, while regular owls have rounded ones. Generally, the Strigidae group contains around 224 species of owls, while the Titanidae family only has around 20. Number 14. Barn owls eat an average of 1,000 mice a year. Many often use barn owls as a form of pest control from small insects and mammals such as mice. When owls hunt for small mammals, they swallow them whole in one piece. On average, owls can eat around 12 mice per night. Number 15. The smallest owl in the world stands 5 inches tall. True to its namesake, the elf owl only grows a mere 5 inches tall. This owl species only hunts for small insects and spiders as its main food source. Elf owls typically live in woodlands and desert cactus habitats located in southern Arizona. Number 16. Owls can swim. While they rarely do so, owls can swim through water. However, these birds generally avoid swimming as they have no means of defense in the water. Owls also generally avoid getting soaked since they can't fly with wet feathers. Number 17. The flat face of an owl funnels sounds to the ears. The facial disc of an owl allows it to funnel sounds of their prey to their ears. Many owl species will have their facial disc asymmetrical since their ears are also not aligned with each other. Number 18. Owls vomit their meals after hunting. The owl has two stomachs. The first is called the glandular stomach which produces the acids and mucus in its body to help the owl separate digestible and indigestible parts of its prey. After swallowing its prey whole, the owl vomits out other indigestible remains such as its fur and bones. In total, the owl's digestion process takes around 10 hours to complete. Number 19. Owls feed their strongest children first. When raising their young, the male owl will typically hunt for food and bring it back to the nest. Additionally, the female will tear up their prey into small pieces and feed them to their babies. The parents prioritize feeding the strongest youngling first, before its other siblings. This leaves the youngest or the weakest youngling to starve when the food is scarce. Number 20. A tribe in Kazakhstan worships the owl spirit. In this tribe, only the female shamans of the group perform rituals in an attempt to connect with the spirit of owls. The Kazakh tribe is separated into three major clans which include the Elder Tribe, the Central Horde, and the Junior Tribe. Number 21. An owl's eyeballs are not ball-shaped at all. Contrary to popular belief, the eyes of an owl are not round at all. Instead, their eyes are tube-shaped or more cylindrical. Unlike humans and other animals, owls can't move their eyes inside their sockets. Instead, they have to turn their head sideways or upside down to see their surroundings. Number 22. Most owls stay active at night. Of all owl species in the world, only two aren't nocturnal. These diurnal owls are known as the northern hawk owl and the northern pygmy owl. Number 23. Owls are incredibly difficult to train. Many pet owners who keep owls find it difficult to train owls properly. This is mainly due to the bird's nocturnal nature, which makes them less active during the day. Number 24. A group of owls can be called many names. While a group of owls is more commonly known as a parliament, other names can also apply. These include the terms Congress and the lesser used term State. Some may also refer to a group of owls as a flock. Number 25. Owls do not build their nests. More commonly, an owl would take a nest left by a different bird to lay eggs. The female owl would also take scraps of debris and other materials to make the nest sturdier and softer for its eggs. Around 90% of barn owls will nest once a year, while the remaining 10% will nest twice. However, more commonly, an owl never uses the same nest twice. Number 26. Owls molt their feathers at least once a year. Owls molt their feathers to replace old and damaged ones. The molting process for owls takes around 3 months to complete and happens simultaneously all over its body. Owls also have molting patterns that allow them to molt different layers of feathers at a time. Number 27. Owls have three eyelids. The owl's upper eyelid closes downward when it blinks, 
Meanwhile, the lower eyelid closes when the owl is sleeping. Lastly, the third eyelid of the owl is called a nictitating membrane, which protects the eye from dust and keeps it moist. Number 28. Shakespeare once described an owl as a fatal bellman. In his play Macbeth, Shakespeare depicted owls as messengers of death. Generally speaking, a bellman's job is to ring the parish bell when someone is near death. Number 29. It is illegal to keep an owl as a pet in the United States. The US government only allows a person to keep an owl as a pet after they completed training and acquired a proper license. However, more places in the world prohibits the domestication of owls. These laws are established to prevent the extinction of certain owl species in the world. Number 30. The Great Horned Owl can curl its talons with incredible strength. The Great Horned Owl can clamp its talons with a force of around 300 pounds per square inch. If you have a hard time picturing that, this force is as powerful as the strongest human bite. Great Horned Owls use these talons to latch onto their prey and keep them from escaping. With this force, the owl can instantly crush and devour its prey. Strange traits and disturbing anatomy aside, owls aren't as bad as you may think. Behind their observant eyes and fearsome talons are a species essential to maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.